A social security bill is gaining more traction in Congress as we speak. Take a look at this. Bipartisan caucus endorses bill to repeal the windfall elimination provision as part of the Social Security Act to repeal it. So looks like there is some traction there as there is 62 members of the bipartisan caucus, uh, which has 31 Democrats, 31 Republicans. So it looks like there is a little bit of movement, a little bit of momentum going. And we're also hearing more from the floor of Congress. With the Social Security 2100 Act, we are fighting for our seniors who have worked their entire lives and rely on Social Security to make ends meet. I'll play you the full video clip of what Representative Pascal has to say about that, and I'll give you some other important updates as well. Before I dive into the main content, if you appreciate these Social Security updates, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more Social Security updates. And uh, before I get into this article right here, the Bipartisan Caucus endorses bill to repeal the windfall elimination provision. Let's take a listen to Representative Pascrell about what he has to say about Social Security. Take a listen. I want to thank Mr. Larson for putting his work and soul on the line for the last several years. Mr. Speaker, I rise today on behalf of the more than 124,000 constituents in the 9th District of North Jersey who rely on Social Security each and every month. Social Security is one of America's greatest success stories. After nearly 90 years, it still stands as a monument to de decency, dignity, and the birthright of hardworking Americans. Yet, Throughout its storied history, it's been under attack. Going back to 1935, it has been the subject of attacks and lies from day one. The study committee just referred to, which represents three quarters of the House Republicans, proposed slashing Social Security benefits by $718 billion. If I was sitting home right now, I'd be saying, well, does that mean me? Does that mean my benefits that I've paid into? They're going to vote now and take it away? It's the only thing I live on. Republican leadership wants to create a so-called fiscal commission in our government funding bill. That is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Without aggressive action, Social Security lurches toward insolvency. Congress has a sacred responsibility to fight for its future. That is why I'm standing with Representative Larson on a Social Security 2100 Act to assure the long-term strength and the solvency of Social Security, and I will keep standing as long as we have to fight. We're not going home. The Social Security 2100 Act provides paid-for benefit enhancements while not raising taxes on middle-class families. It's a no-brainer. Our bill ends the painful five-month disability waiting period. Imagine that. It would ensure Americans suffering with permanent disorders like Huntington's disease get the help they need without red tape or delay. The bill eliminates the windfall elimination provision so that firefighters and police and teachers and others get the full benefits that they have earned. With the Social Security 2100 Act, we are fighting for our seniors who have worked their entire lives and rely on Social Security to make ends meet. And I remember the first election, congressional election I ran in, Mr. Speaker, in the year 1996, which wasn't yesterday, I remember I walked into the Hall of Seniors in the spring of that year, before the election actually was on, and I knew everything about, I thought, Social Security, but I never expected to get the first question about Social Security, and I was asked, what are you gonna do about Social Security? And one of our seniors, asked that question in 1996, and here we are, 
28 years later. What do you know? I will not vote for a convenient increase in the age requirement. They want you to work and drop dead so that you collect under the ground, I guess. You won't be above ground. I will not vote for cuts to Social Security in order to pay for it. And we are fighting for working families. We must get this done for the American people. There's no excuses. If you're watching, call in. Let us know what you think. This is your money, our money. Thank you, and I yield back. I thank the gentleman from uh, New Jersey and uh, wanted to point out to uh, uh, Speaker Johnson that uh, he has uh, 158,000 Social Security recipients in his district. And in Louisiana, they receive $233 million in monthly benefits. Think about that. What that does for economic development for those people. Where do they spend that money? Linda Sanchez knows this. Linda Sanchez, who also serves on the Ways and Means Committee and on the subcommittee, understands how vitally important this is and also that for more than 5 million of our Americans, they receive below poverty level checks from Social Security having paid in to the system all their lives. And the majority of them happen to be women. The need for Social Security change is bigger now more than ever. And we're hearing a lot more from Congress probably because it is an election year, but are we going to finally see some action? Well, we're seeing a little bit of traction, a little bit of momentum, as we see here, Bipartisan Caucus endorses bill to repeal the windfall elimination provision. So a bipartisan group of members of the House of Representatives endorsed legislation that would amend Title II of the Social Security Act to repeal the windfall elimination provision and government pension offset, the GPO. So the WPEP was put in place to remove a circumstance in which people who worked in both public and private sectors would receive what some consider a windfall because of the interaction between the regular Social Security benefit formula and the worker's career in jobs covered by Social Security, even in those private sector jobs were short lived. The GPO is intended to replicate the dual entitlement rule for spouses and widow widowers who receive pensions based on non-covered employment. So the Problem Solvers Caucus, a group composed of 62 members of House uh, 31 House Democrats, 31 House Republicans, and co-chaired by Representative Brian Fitzpatrick, which is a Republican, and Representative Josh Gottenheimer, which is a Democrat, has endorsed the HR 82, the Social Security Fairness Act, uh, whose provisions call for the that repeal. So Representative Graves, a uh, Republican, introduced the bill on January 9th, and the bill, which is now before the House Ways and Means Committee has 320 co-sponsors, 53 whom are caucus members, said Fitzpatrick in a statement saying, as co-chair of the Bipartisan Problem Solvers Caucus and co-sponsor of the Social Security Fairness Act, I am pleased our caucus has endorsed this bipartisan legislation that would give millions of these workers the benefits they rightfully accrued during the years of service to the federal government. So basically, this legislation would temporarily eliminate the WEP and GPO, modify the financing and administration of the Social Security funds, and establish requirements relating to the Social Security services and resources. So with the endorsement, this still doesn't mean 
that this bill is going to pass. It just means that if it were to go to vote, it has a big chunk of members who would actually vote for it. Uh, the big problem here is that there are still no votes being taken in Congress. It's really up to uh, Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, to say, hey, let's vote on, <clears throat> excuse me, let's vote on a few of these social security bills, take some action for social security. With this bill specifically, there are both Democrats and Republicans in support of it at this moment. So if it were to have a vote in Congress right now, there's a good chance that it may have a pass. Uh, there's also a lot of other bills, a dozen of other social security bills that hasn't yet taken action in Congress. So hopefully this year, as an election year, we're going to see some action. We're hearing a lot more talk, a lot more publicity for social security, but I think you and everyone would agree we want to see more action on increased social security benefits, enhanced benefits, expansion, all that good stuff, but yet we're just not really seeing it yet. Um, anyways, that is all the news that I have for you today to hopefully brighten your day a bit. Here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Hi guys, this is Bella's tip of the day. I want to tell you that you could be anything that you want in the world. You could be, you could be, you could be, for example, you could be a veterinarian, take care of dogs, help dogs, or you could be a nurse, and you could help people, and you, or you could be a doctor, or you could be like anything as you want. You are your own self. You can be whatever you want when you get older. If you're older. <laughs> Bye, that was Bill's tip of the day. A change to social security payments and announcement from the SSA on SSI. Three changes to SSI actually, and one trillion dollars added to the social security fund due to immigration. All that in this video right here. You're not gonna wanna miss that as it's action packed with important information. So click that video now and I'll see you in that video. Take care, be safe, thank you for watching.